welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to make a data store for your leader sets so when players come into your game say they get some money and then they leave the data will save their money for when they come back in but before we do this make sure you go check out my other video the card will be in the right hand corner of the screen for you to watch and that will be the basics of leader set let's click on server script service and add in a script Okay, then I'm just going to name this leader stats. And then in here, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to go local currency name equals coins. And then we're going to go down. We're going to do local data store equals game colon get service data store service. And then colon get data store get data store not order data store and then we're going to do test data store all right now we're going to go down and we're going to do game dot players dot player added colon connect and then we're going to put a function in there and a parameter of player and then we're going to do a local folder equals instance dot new and we're just going to make a folder and then we're going to do folder.name equals and then leader stats you got to make sure it's a lowercase exactly spelled like how mine is we're going to do local or we're going to do folder.parent equals player and then we're going to do local currency equals instance.new and we're going to do an int value and we're going to do uh currency uh, dot name equals currency name and then we're gonna do currency dot parent equals uh, the folder and now we're gonna do local ID equals currency name dot dot and then we're gonna do quotation marks, and then we're gonna do a hyphen, and then we're gonna do out of, uh, we're gonna get out of the quotation marks, put another dot dot. You gotta make sure that this is two dots, not one, otherwise this will not work. And then you're gonna do player dot user ID, like that. And then you're gonna do local saved uh, data equals nil. Okay, now we're gonna go down into a P call. Now we're gonna make it a function, and then we're gonna do uh, saved. We're gonna do saved data equals data store. Then we're gonna do get a sync like that, and then in these parentheses we're gonna do id. And then we're gonna it's we're just gonna go to this end, press enter two times, and we're gonna do if save data is and then that thing uh that thing don't know what that's called uh and then uh equals nil then currency that value equals save data and then we're gonna do print data loaded okay and then we're gonna do else currency dot value equals zero so this is going to be whatever uh let's just actually finish this up we're going to new player to the game so what this is going to do is if they're if they have saved data then they're, it's going to go to save data and then it's going to give them what they had before and this will just assign it if it's a new player to zero so you could change this Say if you wanted a new player to start out with like $50 or 50 coins or whatever, then you just change that to z that zero to five, uh, 50. Okay, then we're gonna go down out of this whole entire thing, down past this end, and we're just gonna do game.players and then dot player removing, colon connect function and player in there. And we're gonna do local ID equals currency name and then dot dot and then we're gonna do another hyphen inside of there uh 
hyphen, and then we're gonna do dot dot uh, player dot user ID. And then we're gonna do data store uh, colon set uh, sync like that, and we're gonna do ID comma player dot leader stats, and then we're gonna do in a square brackets currency name and then out of here we're going to do dot value it's a capital v and then out of, we're gonna get out of that end and we're gonna do game game colon uh and then we're gonna do bind to close function no parameter we're gonna do for i comma in pair in uh for i comma player in pairs then we're gonna do game dot players calling get players and then we're gonna do uh we're gonna do out there and then we're gonna do if player then player dot colon kick and then we're gonna do a message. This this game is shutting down. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do a wait five seconds. Let's go head over to here and we'll publish to Roblox as we'll create a new game and we'll call this leader stats. And we're gonna do uh, this is a test. And then we're gonna go over to create. Okay, and then we're gonna go to Roblox.com. And then we're gonna go to create, and then we're gonna go to this leader stats, click on it, and then hit play. Okay, so when we spawn in, you can see our leader stats work and it has zero coins. So just open up the chat and type in uh, backwards slash console and it'll open something like this. Just go to the server part and type in games.players. Your username, so Kai the Awesome Cat who won, dot leader stats dot and then whatever your name of your leader sets is, so minus coins that value equals, and then we can do a hundred. And then you can see that we have a hundred coins. So now let's leave the game. Then we can play the game. And when we join in, we have 100 coins. So that is how you make a saving leader stats script. If you did like this video and it helped you, do not forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. It would mean a lot to me. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time.